The controversy surrounding the Portsmouth Confederate Monument is far from over. And of course, the man hit by a soldier that was knocked off the monument Wednesday night remains in very serious condition. And then there's the blame game of control during everything that happened on high and court streets. And now there's a petition to recall State Senator Louise Lucas, who some say incited and took part in the chaos. Ten of your sides, Regina Mobley is in the newsroom now with this part of the story. And Regina, it seems to be a never ending saga. Well, Tom, did she or didn't she? A Virginia Beach lawyer says the region's highest ranking state senator committed a felony and misused her power as a member of the General Assembly. The allegations concern what Luis Lucas said and did before and during the unrest Wednesday night. The images you saw live on Wavy TV 10 have been seen across the nation. Protesters in Portsmouth spray painted and toppled a statue. It fell and landed on a man, causing serious brain injuries. Before the chaos, Senator Louise Lucas arrives on the scene where she ostensibly sets ground rules for protesters. City property. City property. And anybody who pays taxes in this city Hello. got a right to be on their property. It is also alleged that Lucas instructed police to stand down. According to a police officer that I spoke to last night, that uh, the people were going to vandalize and spray paint the statute and that they were not to arrest them. Virginia Beach Attorney Tim Anderson says Lucas incited a riot. That's a felony. And what happened after that is protesters started uh, Facebook living and streaming, telling people, hey, you're not going to get arrested, get down here. And that's how it turned into, uh, went from a peaceful protest into an unruly a uh, mob and eventually turned into a riot. Now Anderson is calling on residents in Lucas District to recall the veteran lawmaker on allegations of felony inciting a riot, participating in a riot, a misdemeanor, and misuse of power. Lucas told 10 on your side, Anderson is just trying to make a name for himself on unfounded allegations. Whatever the process is, we are ready for it. If Anderson can collect 4,700 4, signatures of verified registered voters from the 18th Senatorial District, the case will go before a Chesapeake judge. Lucas is a powerhouse in Portsmouth, but the district stretches all the way to the North Carolina line. Anderson will collect signatures tomorrow in Brunswick County. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.